Just start with you. Your organization, uh, the Dream.us, you provide support for uh, undocumented uh, young people for college and career success. Is that broadly right? Am I getting it right? That's correct. And, and among the things you do is you provide scholarships to these undocumented students. Have I got that correct? That's right. And so college scholarships, just to be clear. Correct. Okay, gotcha. Can you, can you tell me, maybe you know the answer to this, maybe you don't, any of the students, do you know if any of the students to whom your organization has provided a college scholarship are currently part of the encampments on any of these college campuses, like the picture you see behind me, I'm sure we've all seen these videos. No, Senator. Um, no, none of, no, nobody who, to whom you provide scholarships are, are part of the encampments? I do not know. Oh, you don't know. Um, what about, do, do you know if, if any of the students who, to whom you provided scholarships have a threatened, physically threatened Jewish students on, on campus? I do not know. Here's why I'm asking. NBC News just reported, and I'm just going to quote now from the article, quote, a Columbia, this is Columbia University, a Columbia undergraduate who provided only her initials because she is an undocumented immigrant and fears deportation, said last week she spent hours a day in the encampment. This would be the illegal encampment that's in violation of the law as well as student policy, as well as campus policy. Spent hours a day in the encampment, I'm quoting still now, before university officials threatened to suspend those students. The article goes on, she joined this, uh, uh, this student, joined a supplies platoon. That's a subgroup formed by pro-Palestinian campus organizers, end quote. Uh, let me just review some of the things that these students, the, these in the encampments, that is, uh, are saying. Of course, we often don't know who these students are. They're concealing their identities. This is, I'm going to read to you now, and I just warn folks, this is not pleasant stuff, but, but these are the facts, and we have to tell the truth. This is just from last night at George Washington University. That's here in this town. Uh, they projected, the, the students in the encampment there projected onto various buildings, images of the United States flag being burned with the, with the graphics, Gaza lights the spark that will set the empire ablaze. They projected the following, long live the student intifada, down with the settler state, that would be the state of Israel, I suppose. Glory to the martyrs of Palestine, it's a jihadist slogan. Stained with the blood of 44,000 Palestinians. That's last night at GW. Also at GW, they're now calling for beheading the student encampment. Beheading, beheading of individuals who support the state of Israel, including holding a people's tribunal where they're putting on trial, quote unquote, various members of their own board of trustees and calling for a guillotine. Here's Columbia University students on April the 20th, 2024. This is all public record. I'm reading this now. This is on, uh, I guess it's X. Columbia University students yelling at Jewish students. And I quote, never forget October 7th. It will not happen. I'm sorry. It will happen. Not one more time. Not five more times. Not 10. Not 100. Not 1,000. But 10,000 times. The 7th of October is going to be every day for you. The 7th of October, this is to Jewish students, is going to be every day for you, end quote. I guess my question is, Ms. Pacheco, and for anybody else on the panel too, shouldn't we be deporting these students if we have undocumented students who are here unlawfully in the country who are violating the law. Let's just be clear here now. This is a violation of the law. And if they're also deliberately inciting persecution of a person on account of their race, which surely calling for the murder of Jews does that, shouldn't we be deporting them? Does anybody think we shouldn't be? Shouldn't we be deporting these students who are here unlawfully? Ms. Pacheco? Senator? We expect a lot from our scholars and the scholars and the students that I know love this country, respect this country and want to and, and enrich not only the campuses, but also this country. That's fantastic. And I hope and, and bet that none of the people that, that you sponsor are, are part of this. Uh, and I certainly hope that's the case. But I, I just wondered, is there anybody in the panel who thinks that we should not deport Students who are here unlawfully, who are engaging in, in this activity, who are calling for the death of Jewish students, who are violating the laws of the United States. I mean, sh should, shouldn't we be deporting these people? 
Does anybody want to defend it and say, no, we shouldn't? They should absolutely be here. Yeah, I think it's indefensible. I, the record reflects just total silence from the panel. You know, I also think we ought to cancel the student visas. And I call for this. For those who are here from other countries with a visa, I think if they're part of this, we ought to be canceling their visas. And we ought to send a clear message. Actually, Ms. Pacheco, I think it was you in your opening statement put it really beautiful, beautifully about how, the, how part of what we're talking here today represents the character of the country. I think that's, I think that's very appropriate. And we need to send a message about this activity not just about the trespassing and the destruction of buildings, that's bad, that's unlawful, but the threats of violence, and in some cases the outright acts of violence against Jewish students, we should send a moral message that if you do that and you are here unlawfully, you should be deported. If you are here on a student visa, you ought to have your visa canceled. This is the United States of America, and we are not gonna stand for it. And I would just hope we could speak with one moral voice on this issue. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.